haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before listening on. We can begin this problem by trying to calculate the acceleration of the two boxes. And in order to do that, we're going to treat the two boxes as a single system. So if we did that, we would have the applied force F pointing to the right, and then we would have both frictional forces, the one on the Cheerios and the one on the Wheaties, pointing to the left. Now since we're combining the two boxes into a single system, we would have to combine the masses. And since the mass of one box is one kilogram and the other box is three kilograms, we know that the mass of the combined system would be four kilograms. We can next apply Newton's second law to this system. For the net force, we have the three forces indicated in the diagram. Remember that the frictional forces will be negative because they're pointing to the left. And then for the mass, we've noted again that it is four kilograms. We'll proceed to plug in the values for these three forces that were stated in the question. Remember that the applied force was 12 newtons, the frictional force acting on the Cheerios was two newtons, and the frictional force acting on the Wheaties was four newtons. So the left side becomes six. And when we divide both sides of that equation by four, we can see that the acceleration of the system is 1.5 meters per second squared. Now, although that's the acceleration of the system, it would also be true that it is the acceleration of each box separately. So in other words, the acceleration of the Wheaties box will be 1.5 meters per second squared, and the acceleration of the Cheerios box also will be 1.5 meters per second squared. Next, we're going to draw a free body diagram of just the Wheaties box. So we have shown the two horizontal forces acting on the box. We've omitted the vertical forces because there is no acceleration in the vertical direction. As noted earlier, F sub W is the frictional force acting on the Wheaties box, which again was four Newtons. F C would simply be the force that the Cheerio box is exerting on the Wheaties box. Notice that it's not the applied force F because that force was being applied directly onto the Cheerios box. In other words, strictly speaking, it is not the applied force F that is causing the Wheaties box to accelerate. It is actually a contact force. It is the force that the Cheerios box is exerting on the Wheaties box, and we have called that FC. We can now turn to Newton's second law again. As found earlier, the acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared. The mass of the Wheaties box is three kilograms and FW was four Newtons. And when we solve this equation for FC, we can see that it's equal to 8.5 Newtons. And that is indeed the force that the Cheerios box is exerting on the Wheaties box. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so that you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I will do my best to provide a video solution to it and post it on YouTube.